What's going on Jets fans? Welcome back to another video here on Peg City Hockey and this season has been so crazy with how good the Winnipeg Jets have been that I haven't been able to really talk about the prospects as much. It's been just so heavy, 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 go, go, go Winnipeg Jets content because of how good they've been being number one in the NHL for a bit of the season, fighting for that and just being a top five team in general. You know, I haven't looked at the prospects as much as I would like to, but I've been staying up to date with it and I want to talk a little bit about the scene right now in in Europe and the scene in North America for the Jets prospects and I'm gonna be looking at two guys that I really really are liking this year um, and that's gonna be Ilya Somelson the defenseman out there playing right now in the SHL and Nikita Cherbarkov who's having an incredible rookie year in the AHL and is leading the Manitoba Moose in points and first we're gonna talk about Ilya Somelson because I feel like he is kind of a bit of more of the underrated prospect and has kind of just soared and surged into the Jets fandom as of late with how good he's been playing and you know obviously there is some news about him you know like I said playing in the SHL this year he's been very good very consistent a very stable two-way defenseman who is reliable who can read the ice extremely well you know you look at his stats so far this year he's been able to put up five assists in 18 uh, games played so far already with Sweden and played on the world juniors team as well and he's just very good at vision finding vision you know you see here in this play right here ripping that just wide very good vision head up the ice he's not afraid to jump into the rush at times and like I said, very stable defensively. He reads the game extremely well. And it's just an overall very good, consistent two-way defenseman. You can see right here him walking in off the line, not afraid to show that offensive shot. And he has that prowess about him. He's very reliable, kind of like how Josh Morrissey was back in his younger days, where he had that offense that could turn it on at any moment, but stayed a two-way reliable defenseman. And his game is very similar to a lot of two-way guys the Jets have developed in the past. You know, you look at Dylan Sandberg and his defensive numbers this year, and I think that Somelson is very similar in a way to that type of game style a very modern day defenseman and you'd love to see it and you know obviously he had that situation in the world juniors this year where he was suspended that one game um for that cross check there you know and that was a big thing and that's where a lot of people saw him you know we didn't we didn't really see that much of him in the world juniors this was his biggest moment this year and it sucks because he was still really good you know he was on that team that ended up winning silver losing to the united states losing to rutger mcgrory you know, and he still had a great year and a great tournament there. And then you also look at him playing with the Winnipeg Jets, he's coming over in the prospect tournament this year in Penticton. He played really well in that tournament, you know. Uh, he was able to score a goal in there as well and have good moments out there leading that defensive core. And I think he's going to be make a real impact when he's able to finally get to the Manitoba Moose full time. This is a guy, again, that is young, is still developing his game, but has a lot of promise already. And I think that if I was the Winnipeg Jets, he's one of those guys that I would kind of make untouchable right now. You know, the defensive side of things is looking good don't get me wrong but you can never have too many good defensive prospects and Somelson is definitely one of those guys and now let's you know flip the dice a little bit talk about North America let's talk about Nikita Burkov and the season he's having with the Manitoba Moose the rookie season I should add because he is absolutely incredible when you just look at the numbers that he's been able to put up in Russia you know there wasn't a lot of highlights of him kind of unknown and then he comes into North America this year and like I said this year with the 26 eight, eight points leading the Moose in points just having an incredible year he again had a very good turn tournament in my opinion in Penticton that was the first time any Jets fans got a real good look at him since the World Juniors and he played great in that you know he started off a little slow but he ended up getting going you know and now with the Moose this year he's doing everything in my opinion you know in that tournament he was able to score a goal you know I shouldn't mind a very nice goal there nifty nifty shot there coming to the front of the net that's definitely his game he's a very deadly sniper always has been and his shot is only getting better in my opinion and his shot selection also very very good um, and then you look at him so far with the Moose just everything's working working for him at the AHL level and this is a guy that I was a little nervous about coming into his rookie year because I have always been high on Nikita and I really thought that there was a good chance that he could really turn into something for the Jets but you know with Russian players you never know how their game is going to look like look, look, translate you know and you see this year 28 points leading the moose those 13 goals and also Brad Lambert being right there with 25 goals uh, 25 points excuse me two young guys with their full, full first foot full year it looks very promising for the Winnipeg Jets in their forward core but I wanted to talk about these two guys in particular because they're two guys that have always been like you know touted as good prospects but now we're really starting to see their emergence you know and I think that it's just where the Jets just find themselves in such a good spot because they've got so many interesting prospects the team is playing so well right now you've got some interesting trade pieces on this team as well you've got so much youth coming through the system that you know we've always been kind of concerned about where these guys are going to fit in but it's looking now that the timeline is just looking really good for the Jets with having this surplus of potential very exciting prospects that could you know join the mix of things in the next couple of years so not only is that exciting for the future but you also have the 
pose, you know, the, the opportunity to put package together a very interesting trade, you know? Like, I think that could be something that the Jets really look at and... I think that that is something that a lot of teams are with a lot of you know we're gonna have to really look at honestly like the Jets find themselves in a situation where they could use these prospects you know the fact that they do have some draft capital and they have a lot of good prospects that they're probably not gonna be able to all use maybe you trade a couple of these guys out now obviously in this video these two guys no way these are two guys that I am keeping I do not think you should give up on these guys I add Brad Lambert to that mix as well and Rutger McGroarty you know I'm talking more about the Chaz Lucius is because I think that these guys here are the you know they are making more of an impact and I think at the end of the day, that's going to be, you know, the real important thing. So um, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, peace, love, and positivity. As always, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. You know, I know it's a bit more of a prospect video for you Jets fans. And if you're new to this team, you know, you might not know that much about these guys. So hopefully you saw some stuff. You see how exciting things are for the future as well. So peace, love, and positivity as always. Go Jets, go. And I'll see you guys in the next one. It'll all be over.